this should sort everything out. Yeah, I really apologize guys, a bunch of my settings had reset on OBS Streamlabs, so I had to revert to OBS, but <laughs> the normal OBS, but apparently uh, my settings there also reverted themselves, so I'll have to do some tinkering after today and, uh, and figure out why they reset. So that's, I apologize guys, but all my settings were wiped clean, that's why we had all these issues. It should be watchable, I really do hope it is, it might be stuttery now and then. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad though, I hope. Uh, so I apologize, I will definitely fix it until next time. Uh, I'll make sure to have some sort... Yeah, sorry guys. So with three minutes to go then. Enko is uh, in the lead with uh, an 18.4 followed by Dane uh, at the 19.5 and then directly followed behind is Colin with not a 19.5. It's a close field and we're actually in the 19s and the top the top six but we're in within a second with the top 12 uh, just about so that's incredibly close field in the end they were dropping off a few tens but it's uh, it's gonna be close it's gonna be close Uh, so we're gonna jump up with Enko here. And uh, <coughs> just follow with him for a lap. We'll go on board with him here for his... Uh, for his uh, hot lap, which he should be coming out on just now. he backs off there so we're not gonna see that uh, that's not gonna be a full hot lap sadly it looked to me at he's backed off though so we'll see I'm really sorry about the delays. I'll see if I can maybe close a few things down and get a little bit less of this because all my optimization I've been working on is totally, totally, totally gone. So I'll just close before the ra actual race starts. So I'll have to close some of these things down. Let's just get down here with 35 seconds to go. Oh, pfft, whoops. Stuff showed up on screen there. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, it's with all everything working out. Well, 22 seconds to go. And, uh... Anko here is now finally, I believe, on a hot lap. So we'll see if he can improve his top lap at the moment of a, uh... 19.4. As qualifying is coming to an end. 
with Anko here coming out to the quick left right hander and he is pushing that Mercedes it's a beautiful black car I do really love this livery as he backs off so we will jump down to I believe that was absent there was it this is absent on his quick lap that was not him that was fluffy we'll keep an eye on fluffies as well so with qualifying coming to an end we do have Enco currently in provisional pole 19.4 but there's still people out on track absent being one of them so provisional pole for Enco but there's still a few guys out on track here comes Absent, the turn 16, out to start finish straight, and he gets in a... Does not improve on his lap there. So with Colin here, I wish I could do this any big, big quicker, with Colin, also on his quick lap, as Dane puts in a 19.3, so Dane there takes pole, provisional pole, from Enko, Enko with a 19.4, so just after, as Colin aborts his lap. So here we have it. Dane, the dangerous, takes pole position for the first race of this season. Enko comes in, starts in the second. Colin in third, Fluffy fourth, and the racing point of Fungus and Aluminium, five and sixth, followed by Revolution, Webs. Kipson and Otto to round up the top 10. Then we have Das Einzig, Jane Pounder, uh, <laughs> and I need to get these names somewhere else. We have uh, the Keyboard Master, Slouchy Carrot, Absent, Hammer, Blaze, Lars, Richard, and Erind to round up the field. And Otto, you were not last. Otto in P10 at the moment. There is some time remaining, but I don't think we will have anyone finishing a lap. I heard some people driving, but... I don't think that is anyone... Yeah, they've taken the checkered flag, so they're just driving around at this point. <coughs> That's, I will see if I can just grab the actual names of the guys here. So, that's qualifying done uh, with the field as we said. Here we have them again. And uh, yeah, that's a good time of a 19.3. That's almost, almost a tenth quicker than, uh, than P2 of Enco, but it's a long race, and uh, as we know, you can't win it into the first corner, but you can definitely lose it. So let's hope for a great clean, cle clean. Oh Jesus, a great clean race here around Albert Park in Melbourne, Australia. The first, uh, the first race for season nine here at Chicken Online or anything. And I had a few, few fancy fancy graphics, but. I'll try to get them up if I can on screen. Um, no promises though, because of the issues we've had. Uh, maybe I can do it real quick. Mm -mm -mm. While well, we just wait for the grid to form up. And we're gonna hide that for now. Nope, not that. That. You guys did not see that. I'll bring it up later on as we uh, come in further into the race. I do wish the game wouldn't pause every time I tab out. That would be a lot of help, but it is what it is, so I'll have to sort it out later on. Here we go. Out for the formation lap. First formation lap for this season. And that's a Williams, a nice Williams in front with Dane. After him, 
we have Enco in that nice, nice Mercedes. Followed by Colin in Haas. Fluffy Balls starts in fourth in a Mercedes. Uh, pfft, sorry, in a Ferrari. Uh, followed by the two racing points of Fungus and Aluminium. After that, we have Revolution in the second Haas in great position seven. Followed by Oweps in the Alpha Tari. Down in ninth, we have Cubson in another Williams, followed by Otto, Otto who's not last, starting P10 in the nice papaya McLaren, followed by his teammate in the other McLaren. We have Jamie Pounder in uh, P12 in a nice black Mercedes as well. And uh, I do actually not know the full name of this guy, I'll have to bring it up real quick, sorry guys. The keyboard, keyboard, it doesn't even say. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. Maybe if I, uh, well, they finished their lap here. I just, just so I don't mess up for you guys too much. Ah, oh, well, I'll just call them keyboard for now until someone helps me out. We have keyboard in 13. 14th, we have Slouchy. Der Hammer, Hammer in 15th, and that's, both of them are in the Red Bulls. Blaze in the Renault down in 16th. 17th, we have Lars. 18th. Richard, Aaron, and 19, and to round out the grip, we have Absent, Absent, who have spun on the formation lap, so that's not boding anything well. We have the pit strategy there, uh, so a one stopper would be s soft, hard, and a two stopper would be soft, soft, mediums. And uh, I'll bring it up later as well, I do have my own one. As we're waiting for the grid to form up, Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six with lights. And off we go for the first start this season here at Sukane Online Racing. And it's a good start by. Uh, by. Uh, <coughs> oh, Jesus. By Enco there in front to challenge Dane. But Dane seems to keep the lead for now. Dane sticks out front. Shortly followed by Enco there. And then it seems like we've had a clean start overall. Just get everything to sort itself out here. As uh, Lars here has, I think, dropped down a few positions. We're gonna go back here with Enko and Dane, who's already eking out a little bit. Out in front. But the flower of Fluffy is right there on their tail. And uh, they will have to stay within that one second DRS for lap three. But for now, they're all really sticking close together with each other. And uh, Dane there with a great start and a good defensive to not let Enko pass in the first few corners. Enko here is fighting all he can just to stay right by us. We have a yellow flag and that's Jamie. Jamie dropping down. See if we can come down to him. What has happened there? We're not sure. But Jamie who will not be happy about that. Or that wasn't Jamie. It was Lars. It was Lars as well. Lars who uh, spun and Colin. Colin who was up there in P2 I believe when he started the race is now down in P19. So that's a not good no good day for the uh, no good day for the uh, Haas driver there. We'll jump back up to the start though. As, uh, we again have the predicted stop strategy here with a soft hard. Or uh, it's, it's going away so quickly I'll have to bring up my one. But As Enko now is really on the gearbox of Dane. And he's trying to make a move into the chicane, but just not able to make that stick. He's doing all he can. The top three here, still within Darius distance of another, but Aluminium in P4 has now just dropped out of that position. A 
Looking down the field though, we have o webs who's dropped down a little bit and we have some tight fighting here. As Enko, Enko has made a mistake and is dropping back. Fluffy has made the overtake of Enko and both of them have lost time to Dane. So that DRS into Dane, Dane's going to be really happy. Now we'll just have to push to stay out of that. But Fluffy will be on the defensive here with Enko charging hard. So lap 3, meaning DRS will be enabled. Ooh! That's who's that? That is one of the four, uh, racing points of Aluminium, who's had contact with the wall, and we can see his uh, front wing there uh, has uh, has had a bit of damage. I'm not sure if we can get a uh, better view of that, but uh, yeah, sadly, uh, sadly has. Uh, Wing there a bit damaged will but uh, not be very fun for him. And he might have to commit to change it soon. It's one of the barge boards there, but it looks like one of the uh, on the side there. Yeah, it's all gone. Coming up though to P3, fighting for that P2 position, is Enko. Enko having a small lock up coming into the 15th corner, out from the 16th corner to the start finish line. And he does open that DRS just to close the gap a little tiny bit, but it's not enough to uh, for the position. But they're really close. They're coming into the first corner, and the anchor really wanting that second position in the Mercedes, taking it from the Ferrari. They're going side by side. Both of them locking up. Anko on the outside does not make the move stick and not able to hold it into the next corner. And Fluffy with a real good defensive. However, they're both hampering themselves pulling himself down a bit because the gap now to P1 is two seconds so he's just eking out more and more and more as we have a yellow flag and that's Lars retired from the session and we have virtual safety car virtual safety car so people they will all have to slow down keep to their delta now and uh, while we get Lars off the track I'll see if we can see what happened no his track has already gotten towed out there put away so while we're on the virtual safety car we can have a look we have Dane who had a great start and still in P1 Fluffy who's made up a few positions P2 and then Enko uh, in P3 and they're all fighting especially Fluffy and Enko fighting for that second position looking down the field we've had a bunch of switches Aluminium who was up there is now dropped down to 16th unsure if he's made a pit stop or not I wonder I'm still a bit clunky with these control I'll have to see if we can uh, get the pit stop enabled there we go so we can see the tires as well and uh, yeah we've had a few pits as the we're again racing here and we're gonna jump up again with Enko. Enko's still on the tail of Fluffy there. Uh, so if you guys took advantage of the rental safety car and did pit uh, with them, Dan Enzig, Richard, Hammer, Slouchy, Aaron, and Keyboard. And now N Enko is pushing hard, really hard, to stay on the gearbox there of Fluffy. Tried to show himself on the outside, but cannot get it and uh, cuts the corner. But Enko now cutting that corner and having multiple warnings, he gets a three second time penalty, which he will not be very happy with. Oh. So, uh, yeah. So, looking at the stops here, we can see a bunch of guys. Uh, six of them, oh sorry, four, five of them who still left in the race took advantage of that um, of that stop, which is it's interesting because that might uh, change the race for them in the end. Enko now pushing extra hard, going side by side. Oh, as he barges his way through, but not able to make that move. It's uh, almost a little bit of a die bomb there, and. Uh, just not able to make the move stick as 
as he makes that mistake, is now dropping out of the DRS zone and uh, will have to fight to get back in in the draft from the DRS of Fluffy. Looking down the field, we have Otto up into P7 now, started P10. And he's on a charge looking to get closer to Cubson, but he's in this, uh, having the Alpha Tower right behind him, who's also pushing hard, so he will make everything he can. But it seems like he's just closing that gap a little bit over time. So Otto chasing down the Williams of Capson, and he is closing a tiny bit, but the guy behind him, oh whoops, is closing faster. So, Oh, and who's that? That's Enko. Enko who's been fighting really hard, has probably spun out of the last corner and hit the wall and has no front wing, or half a front wing. Also seems like his tires might not be in the best shape, so he will not be happy with that. He will not be happy with that at all. Look at that damage. He will have to come in for a new new front wing. Uh, we can see the drivability with the car is no good there. So that's Anko who's fighting a little bit too hard up in the top and uh, yeah, bit the bullet there. Wanted uh, more than he could chew. Backing up with the guys here in 7, 6 and 5th. The battle continues though with Oeps in the Alphatari chasing hard, really hoping to get close to Otto. Otto has now dropped back a tiny bit from Cubson. Uh, a few tens there. And uh, he's probably starting to feel the pressure from Oeps behind him. And Oeps now really pushing. And we see that DRS being open. Coming into the last few corners. And 16th corner here, it's a very it's a difficult corner, one of the more difficult corners in my opinion. But they make it nicely, coming out to the start finish. Both of them against DRS, so that will not help OEPS uh, very much. Um, as he is pushing harder. Oh, and there's another guy off the track. Who's that? Is that Revolution? No. Who was that? It was... Unsure that was. It was Erend. Erend. So Erend out of the session. That's two retirements for the day, and we get another virtual safety car, and people will have, they will have to slow down all the drivers to the Delta again. So as Enko also retires, so Enko he started up in the top. Uh, I think P2 or P3 around there, up up by the first drivers, and uh, now dropped uh, out of the race as well. So three retirements. They're falling like flies now. As Absent also retires, that's four retirements, so they're all just uh, s dropping out now and not going to be very happy about that. A C Fungus, who we see here in that pink racing point, gets a drive through penalty for speeding under Rachel's safety car. Probably speeding up a little bit too quick before uh, the race, before the virtual safety car did not. Um, before the safety car was released, and uh, I guess he'll have three laps uh, to serve that penalty. As we have a few guys pitting here, we'll see if we can jump down with them. Uh, if I could see who that was, we can come up with Otto. Otto, we've been f looking here, see if he can make anything out of this uh, pit stop in the battle that he has. Trying to undercut both o Oweps and Cubson. And he puts on that hard tire. And talking about pit stop strategies, I'm going to real quickly just go and do this. We'll jump back with you here again. So, pit stops. We're now at lap, uh, around lap 9, and if they start on the soft, they want to go on the hards. Between lap 9 and 11 is where you want to stop. And we see that here now. That it's lap 9 and people are coming in for hards. Um, as we can see as well. Here, so people are coming in for hearts around now, and uh, I think we will have the top two guys, Fungus and Cups, and also coming in. But a few there out on mediums, they will have to wait another few laps uh, f 
five or so laps more before they go and uh, before they go and uh, change their tires. So that is the pit stop strategies. Um, but you never know; some might pull, have an, an ace in their sleeve and pull something out. And I wish I could do this in a better way, but here we are again. And there's another yellow, and that's Oweps. Oweps dropping back, and Oweps' wing there, left uh, front of his wing, is so damaged as well. So a lot of people having wing damage around here and just pushing a little bit too hard, more than they can handle, and uh, it's biting them uh, where they don't want to be bitten. And uh, we can just see the speed difference here between Oweps and Aluminium as Oweps go into the pits to get that nose chance. And I will have a look for them see what it looks like when they get their nose wing chaser. He'll have to slow down just enough and uh, there's time to gain and time to blast. As he takes the wing we're then gonna have to jump up. We have Jamie about to do an overtake. So that is the front wing coming on and that's the new front wing. We're gonna jump up with Jamie. Jamie ju just overtook. Ooh, I was not very happy. Here's Jamie who just overtook Cubson but Cubson will be right on his gearbox again. Jamie with the soft tire compound. We will have to look at the tires again. So Jamie has uh, has that soft and hasn't stopped yet. So Jamie will will have to stop here soon because um, those tires don't want to go many more laps than what we are at the moment. And. So looking at it now, I would suppose the net leader is still Dane, followed by Fluffy. But Jamie now pushing hard. Cubson staying with him though, surprisingly, on that hard tire. As I guess that's because Jamie's tire is going to be so worn. So Jamie is, uh, is doing a stellar job keeping those tires alive and keeping somewhat up to speed. As Fungus pits. And now Cubsum is coming back at Jamie. They go too wide into the first corner. But two into one just don't go. Oh, and that's Jamie who's off the track a little bit again. But does not seem to have any damage on the front wing there. So that's... that. Oh, and Jamie goes off again. So that's Jamie's tires who are just falling off the cliff now. And Jamie will have to come in. Is running them. Uh, down to the ground as we saw in the real life Silverstone race today as well. Those tires are not gonna be happy and uh, Jamie will want to pit this lap. I probably would want to pit before that but we're gonna jump out with Otto. Otto chasing down Cubson again as the battle continues after pit stops as well. And Otto is right on the gearbox there. Now the gap is now down to four tenths. It seems like Otto is really enjoying these uh, white walled tires of the hard. So coming up to the start finish straight, Otto opens his DRS and he will close that gap a little bit more. As Jamie now pits, Jamie uh, finally pits uh, to get those soft off his car. Looking up the field though, it seems like most of the field is now spread out as uh, all we're waiting for now is um, Das Einig for his pit stop. I'll see if we can get some time interval going here. So looking at this, uh, he will come out somewhere in between Cubson and Otto and join right into that fight with his teammates so that will be very interesting we'll have to keep us out for when he pits other than that it looks like Dane has a very good lead there in front of the rest of the pack well again I'll have to look at the tires so the f yes looking at the Dane is still the uh, provisional leader with Fluffy in second so we have three guys up there yet to pit and that will be interesting to see when they pit uh, how that affects everything Ooh, as Magnussen 
keyboard Magnuson is all sort of out of the race. So that's five retirements, and that auto, auto pits, and he uses that to his advantage. Uh, oh, actually, no. Never mind, because there's just a yellow flag. So I wonder what Otto's plan is here, because Otto didn't run long on those tires. And he takes a new front wing. I didn't see any damage there. It seems like we have some issue with the front wings. Uh, Otto now with the medium. So Otto must have hit something that we did not see, and uh, that drops him back. Coming up with Einzig here. Einzig is rolling on the medium tires. So he will have to pit around the next few laps as well. I suspect he will have a few, three, four more laps maybe in the cars, in, in the tires. But um, yeah, he's, he's gonna drop down to P67, I guess, when he's coming out. As he comes into the pits now, so we will see where he comes out. Ooh, locks up just, but seems to be hitting the speed limiter just in time there. Into the pits we go, and on goes the hard tires. As Jamie has gotten another penalty, so we'll have to take a quick look at these penalties to see what is going on. But Fluffer coming out, and it will be just into P6 there, right in front of P7. Right in the battle, oh, he comes out side by side, he does push Revolution a little bit wide there. And uh, Aluminium takes advantage of that and slots into 7th. So that was a real close pit exit there. Ooh, and they go side by side here. As Aini really pushes his way through. And uh, sticks into 6th. But the fight continues, and we see Revolution. Revolution looking hungry for a fight there. As there is open, I think I said two, but I think there is actually three, three DRS. To the, I, I said two, but there is technically, I guess, three DRS traits. Revolution pushing hard, aluminium locking up there as uh, Einzig is just pushing out a bit. And uh, DRS comes open into T1, but uh, it's just not close enough. As Einzig uh, is pushing on. The three of them are just so close, and they're all on the same tire. Einzig having the freshest of the tires here, and if we have a look of it, um, aluminium in the middle, his tires are the most used, followed by revolution, but there's a big difference. There's uh, five laps of difference between them, and then Einzig, of course, who uh, is just on his fresh tires. So very interesting to see, but they're all somewhat similar on pace. This might uh, might uh, come back in uh, at the later uh, parts of the races when the tires are really getting worn. And we'll see uh, how that affects. But here we go. Uh, Revolution having a little look. Not able to do anything though, but he is hungry for that, for that position. Colin gets a 3 second set penalty. I do not really want to leave this fight quite just yet, but we're gonna have a look soon on uh, all the penalties and what we're looking at there. As we come to the start finish date, the RS goes open. But the gap isn't big enough for anyone. So, real quickly, into here, we were gonna take a look at the... Uh, so there's a lot of warnings, and here comes the penalties. Fungus has a penalty. There's just a lot of penalties. You guys can read them for yourself. And that's the five second. Yeah, there's just there's some drive-through penalties as well. Speeding on a virtual safety car. Most of them are exceeding track limits, though. 
And there's a 10 second as well for uh, Enko, but Enko has retired as we know. So very interesting, a lot of 3 second penalties, that will, that will really play in the end of the race and uh, that will really affect how it ends. Looking up though, Fluffy in P4, provisional P2, is actually getting closer to the guys in front and these people are in all the tires and haven't pitted yet, uh, so I said that Slouchy comes drifting around the corner. Um, but Hammer and Richard still to pit, and I would suspect they're pitting soon, uh, within the next few laps, probably onto the uh, the hards. Here come Fluffy, and that's an easy overtake. I think both of them knows that it's not a fight they will have to give in to. They're in two completely different strategies. They're not fighting each other. A slouchy get a three-time penalty. <laughs> Penalties all over the place. Looking back to the fight though with these guys, uh, that's ANC, Aluminium and Revolution. As the guy in front of them, Cubson gets a 3 seconds, so not knowing what these guys have, if these guys have any penalties, that's the dropping Cubson right into this fight as well. So between these guys there is less than, uh, around a second, le just less than a second, depending on where on track we are. And they're all fighting hard, really wanting those points. But, Aluminium at the moment doing a splendid job to keep them at bay. Oh. Sorry, uh, that's Ainsig doing a really good job kicking them away. As Dane makes the quickest lap of the race, a 123.7. Uh, just showing that he is the one to beat out there today. As now. Ainsig has pulled out of the DRS distance from Blue Revolution, and that makes it much more difficult for Revolution, as Aluminium now has the DRS all alone by himself, will make him really close that gap, and I think we're gonna see an overtake here within the next few laps. Look at the closing rate of Aluminium there. And this is where the fight is at the moment. The fight for currently for P7 between Revolution and Aluminium. As Richard in provisional P3, currently haven't pitted though, I'm not sure exactly where he is, uh, gets a 3 second penalty. There are penalties all over the track and the stewards is not very happy with these guys today. <laughs> The virtual stewards. As aluminium now actually seems to be dropping back a little bit. And I guess I don't have to say it, but there is a three second penalty yet again. One for OWEPS and another one for Fungus. So, yeah, they will be popping out there. I think I don't have to read all of them. Um, as Hammer pits, finally, lap 19 now. So, I think we're gonna see Richard pitting as soon, soon as well. Hammer down to P P10, I think he will stay in for now, just in front of Otto, Otto who had to pit for a new wing. And talking about Otto, we're gonna go jump down with him, see a battle between Otto and Oweps here. And it's a shame, it's a close field, and we're having these battles, but without all these incidents and track uh, infringements, it would have been a lot cl closer. As Jamie is back out again with a new wing, <laughs> and uh, he is pushing hard to get past Blaze. Blaze is defending with all his glory, though. As Jamie has been running off the track a few times, uh, trying to get past. Oh, as Jamie goes, two wheels on the grass to get that inside line. Will he make it stick? There's a bit of contact, but Jamie makes it work. And Jamie goes out in front, now in P13. 
and Jamie just doing everything he can to get up the line. As Richard now finally pits, and he's gonna drop down as well to P8 or P9. I think P8 is gonna be where he sticks. So let's oh, let's have a look at the pits then. So these are uh, the pit stops, and I think most of the people, except those with incidents, have done at least one pit stop by now. And it looks like we're gonna have a. a one stopper. Some people are gonna have to look at the two stopper here. We have Fungus, who's pulled nine laps. It's gonna be uh, difficult. It says we have Richard on 20 laps. Old soft, but that is not correct. Um, those are laps probably old soft that he did back on. I'm not sure about why that is showing up like that. Because uh, that's not showing the correct. Um, but yeah, most of them have decided to go for the one stopper onto the hard, and uh, it makes sense. It's probably the fastest, uh, oh, fastest out there, fastest strategy out there today. A loss of words. We're gonna jump up though. The fight is back, but this time it's not. Uh, yeah, this time it's uh, the same three guys we're looking at. It's Aluminium Revolution and Einzig. So I wonder if Einzig has done a mistake there to drop down a little bit as they're all right on the tail of each other again as their hammer now says the fastest lap of the race 122.7 stealing it from Dane the dangerous uh, we're gonna jump with the fight here a little bit from uh, aluminium's point of view we can just see how fast these guys are going. It's it's incredible, and they're all very close to each other here in split one. All very good drivers. But not close enough. There is a sector one yellow flag. Not sure for who it can be. That is Blaze, we're gonna jump down and see if we can see anything he has spun. Ooh, and there's a bit of wing from what I can see on the track there. And yep, that is left front wing totally gone. So these guys are just pushing so hard and uh, it's just a little bit too hard for them. It's They're pushing a little bit too much. So Blaze will have to come in and fit that new wing onto his car. Looking at here though, the battle continues between Einzig Revolution and Aluminium. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> this has been a race long battle. They have seen each other throughout this whole thing more or less. But Einzig doing a good job of just staying in front. As there's another yellow flag possibly for Blaze coming back into the pits now. Just going slow as as Blaze, who's retired from the session, so that is five cars now out of the race. That's five retirements for the first race here, season nine in Chicane Online Racing. As Revolution now is really on the gearbox, is really looking for that fourth position. But Einzig doing a really good job. Aluminium is just sticking right behind them, um, but just not just not fast enough to close that gap down. Here they go really close and I think we'll see a move by Revolution within uh, this lap. Once again opening up DRS. He have a, has a look on the inside, just not close enough to make the move done. Tucks right in behind into the slip cream just to get that little bit extra speed. As we're coming into the latter part of the race here now, lap 23 of 29, and Dane has, from the start, kept the lead 
very well. Followed by Fluffy in P2 now. Fluffy has just done a solid, consistent race, and uh, that's led him up. But we're gonna have a fight here possibly soon for P2 between Cupson and Fluffy. And I wonder, as Slouchy retires from the race, <laughs> sorry, Slouchy, uh, I'm gonna have to have a look on their tires here. With Cupson, uh, they're all on the same strategy, so it's just Cupson pulling a better. Uh, better uh, pace here at the moment and he will have a look for P3 so he's looking to take that s silver step off the podium instead of the bronze then of course <coughs> and open the DRS but it's just not just not close enough So this is a few guys we're going to have to keep an eye on, but let's talking about guys to keep eyes on, here is Aluminium Revolution and Einzig again. And they're all just so close and they're all pushing pressure now. Einzig will have to start defending real hard here if he wants to keep his position. As Aluminium goes a bit on the grass there, but it makes it, uh, makes, uh, makes it stick still and uh, is just back into the toe again. These guys, I mean, looking at how close these guys have been racing this race, I mean, they have been kept it clean for uh, most of the parts of it. And I'm surprised how long they've been able to run this close behind one another. But it also shows that it's difficult to overtake. It's overtaking is not done by ease, it's you gotta have to work for it. Cupson now, though, getting really close to Fluffy. Fluffy is defending into T1 but there's just not close enough for Cubson to make the move. Once again open his DRS. Will he have a look on the inside? No he won't. Looking down to Revolution now though as well. We're gonna have to keep an eye on both of these guys. Revolution goes on the outside. Will he be able to make a stick? He switches to the inside now but just not able to get in front of Einstein. Oh, there he goes! Uh, and it takes the position which he will want to because he has penalties. Looking back up to Cupson though, is right on the gearbox um, of Fluffy as we have four laps to go off the race. So these guys will be battling down to the line, I think, for that second position. As Cubson will want to. It, it's a difficult track because you have all these corners in the end of the track where you start dropping back due to the dirty air and you can't really stay close. You can't really get that gap down. And then after that, of course, you have the big long straight with the DRS zone. But by that time, you will be just far, far enough behind that you will not be able to make the overtake. So it's a really difficult track in that aspect that once you finally get close enough thanks to DRS you get all the corners where you can't pass due to the dirty air and it gets an evil circle there so it's uh... but Cubs on making a splendid splendid job of staying behind here now There's not much he can do quite just yet. Just look how close that is. It's not even a car in between them. Maybe half a car or so. And that that's crazy to see. Into the corners. Into the fast left right hander. My favorite one of my favorite corners of the calendar. And here we see the gap is getting a bit bigger again due to that dirty air as I mentioned before, so it's really hard to stick to one another through these corners because you just don't have that downforce, you don't have that grip. But here comes Cubstone, up and opens the DRS and he gets really close into the first corner. Just not close enough, he will have to 
have a good exit here and opens the DRS again and he will have to st will start looking for the pass and he has a little peek but decides to the better and just get back to the racing line to get the better exit and this must be so frustrating for him so frustrating not to be able to come through so this is battle for P2 with three laps to go uh, including this lap As again Cubs on will might have a little look he goes on the outside but mm, just not close enough and uh, Cub Fluffy can take his uh, racing line through there using the most of his speed Cubs and opens the DRS here though and we'll, he will have another look but it's just not close enough he's never he's just a little bit too far and they can't make that move. Now we come. It's Cubson this time. Five tenths will open his stairs, and I think he's a little bit closer. Just a tiny bit closer this time around, but it won't be enough for the start finish straight. He will have to have a great uh, first corner here, and he does seem to have been pretty good. A little bit wide there opens up though and uh, this time is yes yeah, still not close enough so he will be having to push hard these last two laps we're gonna have a little quick look down to Ainsley though Ainsley who's stuck behind uh, revolution now revolution with multiple penalties so Ainsley just have to stick behind and uh, and he will get that position, I suspect. Aluminium, though, has dropped far back from this fight and is no longer a part of this uh, battle for uh, P4. Back up with Capson. Oh, this is this is where the excitement is at the moment. Capson is just not close enough. Cubson, who has been here for quite a few laps now, and his tires must be worn out chasing this much. They, uh, of course, his tires then get used a lot more than if he's the lead car of the two. As we see, this time he opts not to stick into the slipstream of Fluff in front, maybe to cool his car down a bit. Here we go still too far away on the last lap now and I wonder if he will be able to make that move we're gonna jump up here with Danzig, Danzig who is just not by that start finished it yet so just a few more corners for them will Cubson be able to get the move to stick We will see that soon, but into the last few corners of the lap, we have Dane, the dangerous, into the 15th corner, into the 16th, no, correction, this is the 15th corner, into the 16th corner now, out to the start finish straight, takes the checkered flag, and wins the first race in Chicane on racing season nine big congratulations to Dane there here comes fluffy fluffy p2 Cubson takes p3 fighting hard but didn't get close enough for p2 that's a very good job followed by revolution and Ainsig for p4 and 5 but as we see here now Ainsig actually jumps up to p3 due to penalties aluminium to p5 and revolution drops down now so Ainsig did a really good job there up to the podium and Cubson who's been fighting hard just not hard enough we're coming down with both the house drivers in 6th and 7th Fungus P8 Richard P9 coming over the line we have their hammer in P10 Jamie in 11th and uh, we have a spin back there that's Oweps so we have Otto in P12 and last across the line in P13 Oweps as the rest did not finish the race.
So, what an exciting race. Uh, that's uh, Richard gets the driver of the day. Uh, but big congratulations to Dane here as we see him doing his celebration dance and getting the P1. Uh, the color. Of course, the champagne. So here we go, here is the positions after that race and we can see there's a ton of penalties. So Dane the Dangerous who wins with 13 seconds to spare behind him, Dane in that Williams, followed by Fluffy in P2 and behind Fluffy we had the surprise of Daz Einzig who uh, jumped up from P4 to P3 due to penalties, say, or even P3, yeah, I think P5 even, he jumped up heavily there and that is a big congratulations and good job. Uh, followed by Cubson, Cubson who was fighting hard for a provisional P2 behind Fluffy, um, but just couldn't make it and then dropped down to P4 due to all these penalties. And fifth we have Aluminium, Aluminium has been in the fight with Einzig and Revolution for a major of the race and uh, up into P5, so that's the top 5 for you, followed by Revolution with a bunch of time penalties, 9 seconds there dropping down. Uh, by Colin, Colin had a good start but dropped down by an incident during the race. Followed by Fungus, Richard and Hammer to round up your top 10, and then the rest you will have on your screen here now. And we'll see if we can Ooh, whoops move that away for now we don't have yeah I will see if we can get some of these people in here for an interview or similar uh, but I'm not able to join their chat these guys well it seems like we don't get any interviews today boys uh, I do apologize again for the first few um, incidents there and uh, with the stream and oh. that's why we have oh hi whoops yeah good good do you hear me or not jesus no uh holy christ uh now i get him and i can't talk to him hold, hold on real quick we will see this real quick real quick hold on do you hear me now yes yes congratulations well well done from the start till the end of the race how does that feel Oh, actually, I have to make sure I can hear you on the stream as well. <laughs> yeah, say something for me, please. It, it, it wasn't the most exciting of races for me. Yeah. But... Yeah, for nonetheless. It's better to drive first than last, well, so... Be, be, be honest with me, it's always fun to win, no? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to win, it's always fun. Uh, I have to say, that was very well driven. You drove without any issues from what I could see. You just... Just kept it yeah. clean and consistent, and uh, yeah, I kept out of all the drama in the back. there out of turn two once, but that was about it. Yeah. Well, from I the first lap, Fluffy Balls went for a move, or Nico, I think, from P2. But oh, yeah. then he got into the clutches of Fluffy Balls, and then it was basically over. 
Yeah, and I'll have to get that. I call them Enco because because of I can read. <laughs> I'll have to uh, do reading up all the names. But yeah, very well done. And you kept out of most of the drama. Uh, I think yeah, Nico there. He actually had a spin and uh, then retired. Yeah, I saw. Uh, so uh, quite some things actually, happened. I think Fungus was... had a drive-through. Yeah. There were a there lot was, of retirements. Uh, there was a lot. I can see if I can... Oh no, I can't get them up now anymore. But there was a lot of retirements. I think we had six retirements. Yeah, 13 people finished. Uh, yeah. Oh, 13 in, even. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody got lapped though. That's good. Or 14. 14 people, I think, finished, no? 14. Okay. Yeah, 14. Uh, but, yeah, no, that was a good job. And you, you with all the, the clashes and bashes we had, you stay, stayed out of it all. So that's a very good job. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. And if you want, just ask the other guys if any one of them wants to jump yeah, up as well. Yeah, we'll okay. do. Thank you, All and right. uh, have a good one. Congratulations. Good one. Hey, Capson. Hi. Good race and good fighting there, Ian. What, what a shame with the penalties. I got one penalty for nothing, actually. So no warnings at all. Oh, you did? Yeah, because I saw you had 12 seconds in the end there. Yeah, yeah. but still three points to behind the podium position, so... Yeah. It's a shame, and you were fighting so hard with uh, Fluffy there in the end, but I gotta say, it, it's a shame, because uh, I think you could have, with a few more laps, do you think you could have gotten him? I was trying to get him all the time, but uh, he was using Kovatik, I'm sure. Yeah, and uh, I, but I, it was a good fight, and uh, I think we got most of it as well on the stream, so it was a good watch for us. Great to hear. Yeah. Anything you have to say about the race yourself? Other than the uh, shame I'm with the yeah, shame with the penalties, that's all. Yeah, well, Most. on to the next on. one, eh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, uh, thank you, and uh, best of luck in the next one. Thank you. Oop. And we might have someone else. Oh, no, I think that's the end of it so again i apologize for the issues with the stream i will make sure to sort them in for the next one uh all my settings had been removed and i figured out why after a while but that's why i have to revert to a bit more basic stream here that having having that said uh, i wish you guys a good evening and uh, see you next time around bye, -bye.